Hello there, everybody. DJ Numa here. I'm alone this week for the Dragon Ball Z League Minor League Season 8 Semifinals. How y'all doing? I'm doing good. We've got two sets of matches. I've got to get rid of the Fraps counter. We've got two sets of matches for y'all today. First up, we've got Heroes in Training hosting the Baldies, North Kai versus East Kai. Uh, the reason that it's the Baldies being the away team here is because they've got the worst win-loss record. Simple as that. So, let's do this with Gohan picking up some stuff. Again, this will be best two out of three, just like everything else. And let's see how we do. We've got Super Saiyan 3 Kui versus Fidel. You're ready to say a woman has arrived. Sorry. And Kui starts things off with a high speed clash. Which Fidel wins because I believe she's got a clash boost, which I took off of Kui in my builds. Um, oh well. It sucks. Josh's countdown misses. Wanted to stay dodged, but it was missed. Good follow up. Uh, Dawn's not here this week simply because um, of events going on in his life. It's somebody's birthday and his family, I believe his grandfather's. So, have fun, Dawn. My roommates are practicing their ninja skills in the background. And I'm yawning. <laughs> Man, you know this, this had all of the possibility of being a great fight, and then everybody started missing with all of their moves. By me, by all their moves, I mean all their moves. Kui, you're not gonna win. Oh, Kui. Justice countdown again missed. I think she's 0 for like four with those justice countdowns now. And, oh, there's Justice Rush. That connects. Well done. Fidel did something. Can somebody tag, please? Or just throw each other into buildings. That works, too. Master image from Fidel. So fast. So fast. Kui tags into Dodori, it looks like. This is the exact opposite of what Dodoria needs, because Dodoria needs somebody that's slow and focused on healing to fight against him. Yep, we're looking at you, Yaj. Even though Yajirobe is completely focused on healing, because Senzu Bean. More Justice Rushes. I don't understand what her... Justice fetishes today. Like, really. It's just Justice Rush, Justice Countdown, Justice Rush. The only thing we haven't seen is Justice Judgment. Which I'm pretty sure we're about to see. Ta da! And dodge. Wow, she's got like a 20% hit rate with all of her moves today. If that. That sucks. <clears throat> Alright. So, Dodoria has lost less than a bar of health total. Good job, Fidel. You did it. Oh my lord. It's just sad, really. Justice Countdown finally connects! All of the nut punches. And a knee to the face just to back it up. Wow. We could see another Justice Judgment attempt. I doubt it, though. Or if there is going to be one, it's just going to be that an attempt. Oh well. It'd be great if this could go faster. But Justice Judgment actually connected. And Videl has taken down half of the Baldies. I 
Actually, she's taking down a full character's worth. Easy. Uh, Kui is at half health. Justice Rush. Dory is less than half health. And Vidal tags. Into Yajirobe. Just for good measure. Because why not? This is... Just bad. Just no. No. Why? And Doria with his defense up four, I think. Because the defense up three plus is... I think he's got a natural defense up one. And he's finally down. That took a while. And back comes Kui. Kui, what are you doing? Just char don't dragon dash, you dits. Oh my lord, Kui. What? I don't get it. Why? Why are the baldies derping so hard? I don't know. And Kui, is, is he actually going to do something? Are we going to see an Ah Lord Frieza actually connect for once in his career? Nope, we'll see a Kablam slice into the back of the head. Kui, why are you useless? And this is not looking good for the Baldies, folks. We are seeing basically the self-destruction of last year's champions. And it's just kind of sad to watch, really. Oh, boy. Uh, no. And down goes Queen. And in comes late Piccolo. The living like grenade himself. I, I'm i so confused. Aww. Basically, the only chance for us to be, for the Follies to do any damage and it's wasted because the Yajirobe went slightly to the left. And I have a feeling, folks, that Heroes in Training is going to win this week or this year. Because they've just been completely dominant all season. Hmm. Interesting. It seems that every season we have one team that's completely and utterly dominant. Season 6 we had the Blue Man group go 10 and 1. Remember we also had, um, we only had one, or we only had 11 weeks because we had four less teams. And then last year we had the Baldies be completely dominant force. Um, granted they weren't, they didn't only have one loss, but Still, the heroes, the heroes are what twelve and three this season. Hell's on grenade, the ultimate connects for full damage. But yeah, heroes this season have been completely and utterly dominant, and uh, their losses few and far between. And they were even basically without a coach for a couple of weeks. They were still being a dominant force. Kind of sad, really. And down goes Yajirobe. Oh, and in comes Goku. Really, it's down to Piccolo to basically go full elite here. Um, I think, actually, he has to go elite in order to even bring this back. But he's on his last bar of health. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Unless he special beam cannons doesn't take this hit. That's not gonna work, Piccolo. Oh. And down goes Piccolo. And the Baldies are already at an 0-1 disadvantage this week. Went down exactly like King Piccolo did. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Alright. So. We are on 
to match number two. Hey, look, Dawn of Rocks has just started watching. Dawn, would you like to get in the call? Professionalism, folks. Anyway, we're on to the next match. We've got We Three Kings versus Metal Mania. If Dawn joins the call, let's do this. Dawn also didn't post builds this week, so we're going to have the special uniforms. Oh, well, looks like he doesn't want to join the call. Sadness. Looks like I'm doing, going alone this week, folks. What is the meaning of this? Oh, it's beautiful. Finger Bits Barrage starting things off from Salmon Cooler. And already we're off to a much more exciting match. Hey, would this be called domestic violence by chance, folks? Because it's a uh, son beating up father who's beating up son. Oh well, it's just a good old-fashioned finger blitz barrage. Oh, oh, what? That was that was beautiful. Cooler, that was absolutely beautiful. Need to do it more often. Uh, you know, I think we know what we can call this. We can call this a team cold training session. <laughs> oh, and we've got some banter from Coach Ace in chat, the coach of We Three Kings. He put Mirage on to King Cold in order for him to do that. Finger Blitz Mirage right to the face, though. That's not gonna do. You're not gonna be able to mirage that. I'm sorry. Even fight though. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, jeez. And another one. Oh, he just did it again. The exact same scenario too. That was that was weird. That was weird. Oh jeez. Oh well have fun at your grandpa's birthday, Don. King's dignity from King Cold. And a full power death beam. Hey, does Cooler have a max power B1? I forget. Hmm. I don't have any commentator to Google it for me. Or take over while I Google it. Crap. Oh well. More fingers. He's just standing there menacingly. And down goes Cooler. King Cold still at max power. We could see Cold Family Power on Tau. Or we'll see a Dodon Ray. And he's done. Bye, King Cold. And in comes King Vegeta. To dodge a Dodon Ray. And eat an Execution Beam. Interesting. Could we three kings finally do it? They've been hitting in the field of... Uh, well, basically in the midfield for the last how many seasons? Could they finally, finally, make it to the Budokai Bowl? Well, we're going to find out today. And I've been informed by Code Jason Chat that Cooler has Rebirth and the Teleport. And, and the Teleport. Hmm. I don't like the Teleport. That's why I don't like Medical. I remember now. But he's got the great Digi Star. He's got that going for him at least. That and the occasional supernova. <coughs> King of all Saiyans here. 
Oh, Tao almost goes max. And he eats the super energy wave volley. And this is going way too even for Metal Mania. Way too even for Metal Mania. Dodon Ray connects. Got false courage. Doesn't get off. And it looks like it might end up coming down to 19, folks. Can Metal Mania do this? They are the underdogs right now. Even though they've got the better record. It's only because of their early season dominance. Super Dodon on Wave and Ultimate. That should take down King Vegeta if it hits. And down goes King Vegeta. For 16,000 damage even. And in comes King Piccolo. All he needs to do is a good melee combo. Get it over with quickly. Or ultimate when he's on 3,000 health. Wow, that ultimate did nothing. But in comes 19. King Piccolo's at zero energy. 19's at max. What is 19's ultimate? Can we see it, please? Drain Life 19. Blocked. That was the one chance we had at seeing 19's ultimate. Sadness. Sadness. Much sadness. And it's an even fight, folks. But then you have to remember that 19 is fighting somebody that's about as fast as he is in melee. Uh, it's a little faster. But 19 has an advantage here in that he can absorb the explosive demon wave and he can drain the key of Piccolo. So what he's doing is that what Piccolo is doing is actually perfect strategy wise. Because he's taking down 19 with quick melee, running away, charging up slightly while 19's recovering, going full power. And there's the explosive demon wave. 19's on the ground though, so it should do half damage. Ooh, 14,000. And another full power. He just wants to end this quickly. Wow. And another three ultimates in one match. Missed. 19, if you had grabbed him instead of doing that, you would have been fine. And down goes 19. Oh, he just got backhanded. And We Three Kings takes the early lead. All right. And so, you know what? We'll do this all in one episode. How about that, folks? Nah, never mind. I'll see you guys next episode. Thank you for watching. Toodaloo.